I wanted to be able to come on here today and tell you guys that I really dig this guy, despite this weird little gimmick contraption. I wanted to tell you that he was fantastic. Alas, there is one fatal flaw with this guy that keeps me from doing that. What is it? Well, we're about to find out when we dive into everything to do with Energon Igniter's Nitro Series Barricade in the latest Got By True review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe and while you're at it, light them up, baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts hits the channel here, man. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor. All the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for as well as all of my social media links, all of that down in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. This is the Bumblebee Movie Energon Igniter's um, Nitro Series Barricade. It's basically a Voyager-sized barricade that comes with this little contraption that... Eh, eh, yeah. Uh, there's a surprising amount here to like. He is definitely stylized, but there's a method to that. There's a method to that madness. There's a logic to it. He is definitely simplified. Arguably, at least in one area, too simplified. What do I mean? Well, we're about to find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And oh, our boy Maximal 10 is trying to really kind of test my mettle by having me look at the Transformers, I believe it's from the Bumblebee movie, if I'm not mistaken. Energon Igniters, it's one of these gimmick things. Nitro Series Barricade. Apparently this is Barricade. Now he wasn't in the B movie, so why we're getting Barricade, I'm not sure, other than Barricade tends to be a foil to our heroic Autobot. Uh, Bumblebee most of the time, at least in the movie verse. So I guess they were like, hey, let's do that. Now he looks like a generic 1980s police car to me, except for this thing sticking up here. When you push down on this, I mean, my understanding is it's, it's supposed to make him go or something. I don't even get the gimmick. I guess it's supposed to make him go. Um, I don't even know if I for sure got this in the right way. I mean, I, I guess it, <laughs> I guess it could be in there backwards. I don't think it is though. It's it's not, it's not a good gimmick. Maybe I do have it in backwards. Let's see, let's see. Let's take this out. Let's see if I can make it work. Let's try it this way. Because, I mean, this this was the way he gave it to me. I really don't know the series, to be honest with you. Oh, it does make him go. There you go. So the gimmick does work. I was just put in the hood the wrong way. Okay, so I guess if you wanted to roll, cool. Now. If you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't want a huge engine block sticking up here, you can, of course, take this back out. There is, there is a peg. So, I mean, if you want, you could. Why? Not for sure that that could peg. Yeah, I mean, you could peg it in there. Do you think that's less conspicuous? Just, just. I would throw that engine block away, and I would fold, personally, I would fold these in. That's not perfect, but you get the idea. I would fold those in like that and just have this be the police car. That being said, this absolutely looks nothing like Barricade. There's nothing here that screams Barricade to me. He was, to my recollection, never this type of police car. But, but, to be fair, Remember that the Bumblebee movie does happen in the 80s, so if Barricade was on Earth in the 80s, then it makes sense that he would have a 1980s style police car, unlike the other ones he has had in the other films, which are, you know, within the last 10, 15 years worth of automobiles. So being a generic 80s police car is a nice nod to the fact that he's supposed to be existing in the 80s as per the Bumblebee movie. It would have been cool if he had actually shown up there. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been neat. He is a good size. He's a solid, solid size, to be honest with you. He rolls well, even if you don't like the gimmick. There's a lot here to kinda like. I do still sorta dig it. What about the transformation? Transformation, very simplistic. We'll get into the scores after we do the transformation. The transformation is 
and I don't have any instructions for this for the record, so we're kind of like going on a wish and a prayer here a little bit. We can open those out and we can flip those feet down or the legs down and flip the feet out. And we could stand the guy up. Naturally, he is getting too tall. We're going to reposition things to finish him off. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, now we can come here and come here. We'll bring those down. Uh, if you want, you can turn the hands so that they're actually facing forward. Apparently, there's some sort of like issue with the assembly of these hands sometimes and they're like backwards or something. I think this is the right way. It looks like it's probably the right way. I don't know. Uh, and then we come here and should, I think, be able to get his head out. Why I'm having such a challenging time with it here now, I don't know. There, Sheesh. And then of course, this will come down over a la a lot of these car guys and in the end boom here we have barricade in his robot mode and like here he is next to like the last night barricade so like he's significantly bigger than a deluxe class offering uh let's just because i happen to have him here handy here he is next to like siege leader class shockwave like he's a big voyager basically and I think that's cool. I, I think that that's pretty neat for this guy. Maybe a bit big for the character, but I think it's pretty neat. So in terms of paint apps and look, it, it's definitely a very stylized barricade. But once you see that head sculpt, it is quintessentially barricade. Once you see the arms, yeah, it's barricade. So it's an interesting take where he would have an earlier 80s body, but I think it's a pretty effective take all the same. I'm gonna give it an eight because you definitely recognize who it is, even if it's stylized for the era of the 80s. What about the transformation? Very familiar transformation where you flip down the legs and the arms come out and the chest piece comes down. It feels more like something you would find on like a Legends class or like a core class offering. So it's, it's nothing that's gonna surprise you, but it's effective for what it is. It might be a good offering uh, to start new fans, young fans on. Then we get to the articulation. So the transformation, I'm going to say again, like it's an eight. It's effective for what it is. It works well. It's smooth. So we have an eight and an eight. Basically, we're going to say the guy's an eight. Then we get to the articulation. The head, it goes left and right, which is fine. It's pretty hindered because of these pieces, but it does move, I think, most of what you would want. The arms can go all the way around. They can go out that far, so a little bit hindered with the outward movement. We don't have a bicep swivel or anything, but we do have an elbow to 90 degrees and we do have a wrist rotation, which is kind of neat, really, and unexpected. The waist does not rotate at all. The legs can go all the way out to the side. We get a, do we have a thigh swivel? No thigh swivel. We get a knee that's super duper deep and we get feet that can go forward and back, but no ankle tilt. Now, that being said, I can get it past the bicep swivel. I can get it past the thigh swivel. I could kind of forgive those things a little bit. Here's where I can't forgive his articulation limitation. The leg, while it can go all the way out to the side, no problem, and it's on a nice hinge here, there is at the hip no forward or back. The T joint in here is all one solid piece molded in. That's a big limit. The guy cannot at all kick. He can't walk. He can just stand there. It's a limit. I would have given the guy's articulation, honestly, maybe a six and a half, a seven. I would have said it's it's acceptable within the limits for something that is a gimmick line, for something that is a simplified line. Because he can't even kick forward, I gotta give it like a three and a half. I think that's a huge epic fail. Maybe a four. Let's say a four just to be nice. He was getting an eight for overall. The guy's about a six. He looks cool. He'll display nice and he might be great for a new fan starting out. But if anybody was thinking about getting this as a representation of barricade, uh, as a representation of movie barricade because they like the size and you actually want to be able to manipulate him and enjoy him, at least for me, the enjoyment factor goes way down 
when his legs really can't move. To each their own. Overall score, the guy is a six because I got to really kind of knock him for that limit. But in my heart, I really wanted to be able to give him an eight. And here we are once again, and here he is, and you know what, like he looks good, he looks like an 80s police car, I understand why they stylized him. The head sculpt is tremendous, really nicely done. Uh, the robot mode has enough greedily stuff to it that, honestly, like, yeah, it looks like it could be a movie version of Barricade, for sure. The articulation is surprisingly acceptable. I can, like I said in the review, I could forgive a lot. I cannot forgive the inability to move hips forward or back. There was literally no reason for that, except they were too lazy to make it, um, you know, a, a one separate piece. They didn't need to do much. They really didn't. Um, disappointing. Really disappointing. What should have been a fairly fun, even if simplified, offering of Barricade ends up becoming really not that much fun. Certainly not as much fun as it could be because somebody couldn't have been care couldn't have cared less to make his legs be able to move outward or back or anything except that. And while it's neat he can do that, it doesn't help you to score many dynamic poses, especially since you don't have an ankle tilt. Couple of fatal flaws on an otherwise what should have been nice offering. Let me know what you think about Nitro Series Barricade here. Oh, by the way, in terms of the gimmick. Not a gimmick guy. Who cares? Um, what do you want me to say? I appreciate you coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know, man, how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. <sighs> See what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stick around, have some fun with us. I want to thank Maximal10 for letting me take a look at this guy. Don't forget that somehow, someway, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, right here inside the videos.